Okay, John Anderson, where do we go when we die? Ooh. Well, do you, I... Do you, the, okay, let me interrupt you for a second. The fact yeah. that you're plugged in uh, uh, is, is why I'm, I'm asking you this. I mean, because, I mean, I asked Rick Emmett of, of you know, the band Tramp. He says, yeah. we're gone. It's gone. It's end, ether, oh. de dead. And I'm going, well, I don't know no. about that. What do you no. think? I think I think we're interdimensional beings and we keep forgetting about it. I've had interdimensional experiences with certain people who happen to be guide people who can guide you through um, a visualization, shall we say. So I have this one quick story is that um, somebody I know very well asked um, a psych, a psychic about the afterlife and she said the the psychic said well wait a minute i can there's somebody here called uh, angel angelus angel and and my it was my eldest daughter said uh, i don't know she said oh there's some people running along a beach like a race and and my daughter said oh it's vangelis of course it was it was vangelis and vangelis was saying through the psychic the heaven is just glorious, beautiful, never imagined, wonderful. I'm in heaven. Wow. Why so not? Do you, do you talk to him? No, no, no. But I did. I did um, have a vision of when Chris passed or, uh, into the next level. It was in uh, Maui, and uh, I'd actually nearly drowned about three hours earlier. <laughs> I got caught in a riptide and then I'm stuck out there and the waves are so big, you know, and I'm sort of doggy paddling, you know, like an idiot. And a voice said to me, lie on your back, John. John, lie on your back. So I'm lying on my back like that. And of course, I float over the wave into the coral reef and that was it. And uh, so I have a great feeling about the energies of interdimensional reality anyway. And uh, knowing that um, I, I had this dream about a lot of people in a room, it's like backstage, you know? And uh, then I saw to my left this beautiful sort of robed lady looking up like that above me. And I, and I turned around and looked up and there was Chris like there. And he was looking into this light and the tears going down his, his face and it was Chris. And I, and I woke up and I said to Jane, my wife, I said, I think I've just seen Chris. And within a couple of hours, we found out he, he passed away. He went to heaven. So uh, he, he helped by connecting with the angel to connect with me to say, bye, John, yeah. sort of thing. Who was the voice when you were drowning? Who do you think that was? I know it was my spiritual teacher whom I met uh, 30 years ago, and uh, life has always been much better since then.